Does this make sense? Please clap for the Texans now. Alright. The unique thing about this is that you can raise that as many people as possible in the room. So you'll get it everywhere by going out to make sales to get it from the shop. Remember that place where I come oh, no. to fill your account number, oh, your account details. So back to us, right? Whenever this guy makes a sale, you just check. He fills his submission form that he has made the sale. All we have to do is check our back end. Who registered this guy? Him. Who registered this guy? Him. You are just working on your own. You don't even know what happened. Just collect a lot. Only have 50,000. What happened? Sure, sure. Someone that is a down line is down line has made the sale. So you have to keep these things to yourself. Yes, I'm a consultant in GTX. Yes, I'm making commission. But how many people do you want to keep making videos like you do? How many more people can you bring up? How many people can you introduce to this program? How many people do you want to make money from? So whether you are doing well as a realtor or not, when you register the right people, there's some people that don't know how to sell, but you know people that can sell. You guys do that. You may not know how to sell, but you know people that can sell. All you have to do is just let them register on there. You sell, you make commission, you see you make a commission. That's a wonderful thing. Very beautiful thing. Please clap for the text also. You guys should clap now. Come on, don't be stingy with your hands. <laughs> Alright, let's like this. Wait, please, let's stay there. So this is for land, right? The same thing happens to our housing units. So instead of 10%, we give 5% for housing. Second generation, 2%. Last generation, 1%. And for our Dubai apartments, you sell properties in Dubai, you sell in US, you have in UK. Just opened our UK and US office last month, which are fully operational. Do you have any questions here? Please move on. The first step. Next slide, please. All right. So you can join this club and hedge huge commission like everybody has done. This is not a need. This is not aspire to perspire. This is not a motivational speech. This is something that people have done. And we have results to show. Next slide, please. These are people collecting commission. This is this year. 15th February 2021. Someone collected 1.14 million. Another person collected 900,000 in November. That's it. Next slide, please. We have 760, we have 665. Next slide. These are good that just went to Maldives. This, next slide. This guy just came back from Maldives um, this month, early this month. And we have some of them here. We have guys that came to Maldives around. Is there any called Choma, any called Martha? Um, who else is around? Jessica. Any called Jessica. Wait on. All expense paid trip to Maldives. These are the benefits that happen when you sell for GTX ones. And not everybody here is our staff. We have a lot of consultants that went. I'm sorry, do you have some videos of testimonials with you? Yeah, we do. Fantastic. These are the added benefits. We treat our people well, we treat our staff well, we treat our consultants well. So apart from your commission, all expense based trips to Madrid, they used about five days and no, five days, no, six days and five nights. Yes. And we go on these trips every every two to three months. Next week we are going to Dubai, we're going back to Maldives, we're going to UK, we're going to US in this year. Let's clap for Jessica please. Let's clap for Joe Martin. Can you just tell them your experience in Maldives? Good afternoon everyone. My name is Jessica Martin and um, it's a great privilege to be here. Thank you for it. Um, okay, so I was initially working in the bank and um, I, for like a year or so, 
and then they resigned the Nigerian chieftains to start selling properties. When I took us to start selling ah, I knew right, want to give you your work and start selling properties. But guess what? All the while I was working on the bank, I'm not going to quote you. I don't even know where the border is. But under six months of working with JTX Stone, I've gone to Dubai, I've gone to the almighty Maldives, of course, JTX Stone. So my experience so far has been great. Um, of course, we all know the Dubai story. And Maldives, when I got there, I saw blue water. And I called people in my house, like, hey, I saw blue water. And they're like, ah, village girl, you start displacing. But it was a great experience. You know, Dr. Stephen was there, and a whole lot of people. I parasail. People that know what parasail is. That thing that took us up, that went up. People are not communicating. I said I went up. <laughs> so it was a great experience. And I'm, I'm sorry, US, we are coming. I don't know who you are. you guys ready to go with me? Yeah, right. uh, US, we are coming. So the cause to this is to make sales. And the yeah. I learned new things. And it's not just to go and have fun. I was impacted. And what I learned, I can even use it to make more sales to be qualified for this trip. And even the car. So I don't want to go alone. Work hard and let's go together. Remember the code is sales. Thank right. you. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. So my name is Shoma Arazibiki. And um, I don't even know where to start from, seriously. My experience... Um, in um, Dubai and Maldives. So Dubai came in January, Maldives came in um, August, July, August. I must say, January was a wonderful um, time for me and it was a wonderful way of being ushered into the new year because it, it wasn't like we knew that we we're going to Dubai, right? Mm -hmm. We were just called up one fateful day and those that met targets, we were actually sending their passports and everything. And before I knew it, it was like I was spending my new year in Dubai. Because we left for Dubai on 3rd of January, right? Left for Dubai on 3rd of January. So it was still the festive mood. And everywhere looking beautiful, the almighty Dubai, it was a wonderful experience, trust me. And then um, July also came. Were taken to Maldives by G Texas, all expense paid trip to the almighty Maldives. Trust me, Maldives is a place that even rich men, wealthy men, they want to go to. So, if you find yourself in Maldives, it's like a lifetime opportunity and it's a beautiful experience. Trust me, it's one that everybody wants to have this experience. The place is amazing, honestly speaking. Like, the way I'm talking to you, I'm seeing the picture of everything in my head and, you know, it was a wonderful experience. We had a wonderful training experience. We were coached by the Odongo of Real Estate, Dr. Stephen Akintayo, and a wonderful host of other people. And then, aside from being trained to get better at what we do, what we do is sales. Aside from being trained to get better at sales, we also had mad fun. We... I, 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 I tried new food, I met new people because Maldives is close to Sri Lanka. Met new people, tried new fun things. We did kayaking, I learned to swim, I learned to. We did snorkeling. Those that have the liver like them, they need parasailing. I didn't have liver, I hate heights, so I couldn't do that. But it was a wonderful experience, trust me. And like my former colleagues said, the code is sales. All you need to do is make sales. Under, like she said, under six months, I traveled to two countries. I have never been to Dubai in my entire life. I've never dreamt of going to Maldives. And even if I want to go to Maldives, not this year. I didn't think I would go this year because I don't have the money right now. Not like I don't have the money, I don't have that in my budget right now. But GTX took us on an all expense paid trip. Need I say that for all the trips that we went to, we didn't stay in any small place. For Dubai, we stayed in Marriott Hotel. Yeah. This hotel, I hope we know it's a new hotel in Nigeria. They've been operational outside Nigeria, but it's new. It just came to Nigeria recently. So when we were in Dubai in January, we stayed in Marriott Hotel and we stayed in an apartment. It was beautiful. It was amazing. And then for Maldives, we stayed in Sheraton Maldives. That's where we stayed. 
So when Jesus is taking you on a vacation, trust me, we don't do small. We do it big. Right. Trust me. And it was a fun film one, buffet and all the like. It was a wonderful experience. What I'm just trying to say is that please ensure you put your heart to it. Sales is not hard. If you put your heart to it, if you put your mind to it, everything that you are being trained to do by the Odogo himself, if you put it to work, this is more than achievable. Some people did it in January, some people did it in July, and we're still repeating it in September. Are you going to be there? Yes. Do you want to be there? Yes. Let's put the energy if you want to make this happen. Your energy has to be here. So if you want to be there, can I hear you shout it? Do yeah. you want yeah. to be here? Yeah. Will you be here? Yeah. The goal is sales. The goal is sales. Let's go make this sales, guys. Thank you. Let's start the show. Okay, I don't really have much to say because she, she has said it all. So I was fortunate to be part of those that um, enjoy this luxury. That is what I call it. Because to me, <laughs> I came into GPS and I never had any idea of selling. But today, because the zeal I came in with, I was hungry. Me, I need money. I love money. So <laughs> I was hungry and I was using everything I, I learned under the, uh, the training of uh, Dr. Stephen Atkintayo. I put it into practice. I put in my best. I was so hungry for these sales. Like, I was like, God, today I will sell. Even when my work was at stake, I was given a provisional letter because I wasn't meeting up. But then, I did not even allow that one to weigh me down. I, I pushed for that. I, I looked for other strategies to put in place. And God so kind, the first sales came. I, I started with three plots. I sold three plots, then came in um, six plots, which is one acre, just like that. So I, I just clocked one year with GTS um, on the 17th of August this month. So, and so far, I, I, I have made, uh, I have I've sold, like, if I calculate all my sales, it's more than 50 million. So, and both direct and then close is even more than that. How did I even achieve this? Because I, I was determined. I wasn't doing what I was doing to impress anybody. I had reasons. You're not doing it because you want people to give you some accolade. You have, you, there's a reason for it. So me, I'm, I'm not in competition with anybody, so I always feel like, let me just do what I can do and leave the rest for God. I put in my best. So you too, you can do it. I don't stay in Lagos, I came here to serve. So you guys even have a better advantage than me. You stay in Lagos, you know all, all the in and out of Lagos. I came here to serve and today, God smiled on me. So I, I would just advise you all, you guys can be part of this. This is even small. You can be part of this and more. It's not just for staff. Even the consultant that joined us, they could testify that they had fun. They, they, we were treated like kings and queens. I ate and I dined with the mighty, like people that matters. I, I was eating and I found myself in the midst of people that are like, God, is this me? You know, so and all thanks to G test homes, all thanks to Dr. Stephen Akinta. If you are dedicated as a consultant, if you, are, if you put in your best, you will also enjoy all these benefits. And this has nothing to do with your with your uh, commission. Your commission will come, and you will you will receive your money. Nothing will be deducted from your commission because of trip. No, whatever it is that you're going to spend, it's that you spend it on yourself. Maybe some little things to take care of, like COVID and the rest. Then buy things for yourself. Other things are being taken care of by the, the company, Dr. Stephen Akintayo. So I will just advise, I don't have much to say. I will just advise you all that this, this is achievable and it's small. So you have to dream high, let your goal be high. Then by the time you are achieving it, even if you don't, you set a goal for yourself. Even if you don't get to achieve at least you get close to the standards you have set for yourself. So thank you very much. I believe what we are going to learn here today, we are going to put it into practice and do what is expected of us. Thank you.
market. So as a consultant, what distinguishes you from being a consultant and an ordinary real estate agent is the ability to answer some certain questions. That word consultant means you're a master of the profession. A consultant should be able to answer every real estate related questions. But there are three categories of questions that you should need to answer. There are three kinds of questions a customer wants to get answered. Number one, most people don't know that you as a consultant should be able to answer whether they ask you or not. What to buy? Number two. Where to buy? And number three. Who to buy from? As a consultant, you must be able to answer these three questions. What to buy can come in different forms. Should I buy land? Should I buy a house? Should I buy a dry land? Should I buy a wet land? Should I buy two plots? Should I buy three plots? Should I buy for living? Should I buy for investments? As a consultant, you need to answer this question. Even when your clients, they, they, they assume they know what they want. By the questions you ask them, with your expertise, with your knowledge, with your product knowledge, you need to answer this. What to buy? Number two, where to buy? This is location. Should I buy in Lagos? Should I buy in Abuja? Should I buy in Kurudu? Should I buy in Bejudeki? Should I buy in Leki? Should I buy in Aoyaya? Should I buy in Aja? <clears throat> if you don't know how to answer these questions, you cannot do the thing. Because if you are not convinced, you cannot convince your clients. There's no magic about that. Your client says something that does not that does not make sense. Let me know, let me know that does not make sense. You cannot argue against it. Because you yourself don't even know. And ask you to buy from. Of course, you do know. <laughs> Your client should buy from you. But in some cases, as a real estate consultant, even if you are not selling for a company, question will ask you. Your clients will ask you. I saw flyer from here, I saw from here. Who should I buy from? If you say anyone, you missed it. Because a consultant should be detailed. It should be research oriented. You should understand all these steps. You should understand all these things. And for this new what? We had a GCS consultant program training on any this month. Who was here? Who was among? So we hold GCP trainings every month, once a month. It's a hybrid training. Simultaneously. We have here, we have in Ibadan, we have in Abuja, we have in Dubai, we have in the US, we have in the UK, we have different trainers, we have guest speakers, even Dr. Stephen also attended. So last last one I treated what product knowledge. This is a very key thing in sales. Very key. Because if you don't know how to address these issues, you cannot be a successful consultant. Are we getting value? Are we getting value? Yes. So where to buy? As a consultant, you should know where it's happening. You should know which location should give the best ROI to your client. And 
and this is the location you have most of the time. So you're selling for a real estate company, you have different products, you should know which one most likely you the most have right. For Lagos, where is the best place to drive? Why? Because of the infrastructure. Infrastructure coming here. Located infrastructure that is there and what's coming here. Fantastic. Who else has another reply for that? There's a strong migration. Housing deficit, yes. So there's a strong migration towards an energy. What a different view. What does I think that way? Okay, why? Because if the electric community is it's looking at the future, it's gonna be too much of an industrial place, location. So I probably want to convince my client to be looking for residential or detention to go to my friend because I don't want to leave we don't want to leave in the executive that's looking like you know, too much activity going on there. So you missed it there. Because even if they are industrial places, what does it give you? What does that tell you? It's good for investment, actually. Yeah, but okay, Do you understand? So you have industrialization, right? Oh, we have people who work there. Where would they live? Does that make sense to you now? Where would they live? So if you are advising your clients to always buy to live there, you are missing it. Again, I asked you what to buy, where to buy, who to buy from. You've missed this point. Yes, you have a fantastic location, Virgileki, where? Who to buy from? But you cannot convince them on what to buy. Buy for investment because you are preaching on where they live. Who wants to live in a bed now? Who? So you are running from where they will make money to where they will not make money because they want to live there. Does that make sense to you now? I'm not very excited. Let me get feedback. How many of you are excited? Yes, 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 yes. Fantastic. Let's put an answer of course to the question. GCP now what we are and uh, what we do, isn't it? Yes. And we know how to register for GCP. Okay? So let's get to the core <clears throat> matter, which is how do you become a property um, salesman or woman? How do you become an expert at selling? I would first of all want to say, well, where are there two seats in front? Right? Can people sit in these two seats in front? There's also another one there. I don't like when they are scattered. Um, please, let's come forward. Yes, yes, yes. I'll just sit here. Okay. There's one more piece beside this man. Can somebody sit there? Yes, beautiful. So, one of the things that it guarantees, I need a marker, that guarantees that you're going to be wealthy. It's your ability to sell. Can you say the ability to sell? Ability to sell. Ability to sell. Come on, shout, ability to sell. Ability, ability to sell. sell. So every wealthy man that you see, they are salespeople. All the wealthy people that you see. Um, and it doesn't even matter their field. Right? You probably would say, well, is that you a salesperson? Absolutely. Is he the only one preaching holiness, righteousness? No. But is the best at marketing that. Does that make sense at all? Yes, sir. Is he the only one preaching prosperity? No. But he's the best salesman at marketing, you know, 
prosperity. Does that make sense at all? Yeah. So everybody is great. They become great by being skillful in marketing. Look at uh, uh, Muhammad Ali, a blessed man. Right? I stay in Laka. What? Oh, you guys know Muhammad Ali and his gold? Hmm? I sting like a bee and fly like a butterfly. Come on, who are those I have here? <laughs> okay? That's Muhammad Ali. That he has so charming charisma that you love him not just because he's winning, but he just has a way of making you love a boxer. Does that make sense at all? So everybody who is successful in anything, they are salespeople. Another thing that is important for you to understand is that all rich people are salespeople. How did they become rich? They mastered the art of selling something. That's how they became rich. There was something. What has Dangote been selling to all of us? Huh? So, salt, right? Sugar, cement, right? Are we comp comprehending this now? Yeah. So, Dangote is the richest black man because he's mastered the art of what? Selling. And have you noticed that he has always sell what is sometimes the greatest need of people? Something that everybody needs. Everybody needs salt. Everybody needs sugar. Right? Everybody consumes some form of petroleum product or the other. The man sells that and he's the richest black man. What are you selling? Actually, neighbor, what are you selling? What are you selling? What are you selling? Make sure you get an answer. Ask your neighbor, what are you selling? Get an answer. What do you sell? Okay? Somebody said, you're selling land. Right? So you must be selling something. Rich people are those who are what? Selling something. What is Stephen Akita selling? Real estate, agriculture, right? I sell something. So, this is how to end the meat that many of us are having. You see, if we don't know how they became rich, you know, there's something mythical. An average black man thinks money is mythical. Can I say that again? Yes, sir. An average black man thinks what? Money. He thinks money is mythical. That's why you see that. Africans then do rituals, right? You then see people even do, uh, you see Yahoo Plus, they call it that. Eh? Yahoo Plus, Yahoo Minus, we call it. <laughs> Because somehow in our subconscious, we have been wired to think that money is what? Mythical, there's something. Meanwhile, that's not true. Money is an exchange of value that you have offered. And we shout it together. Money, money. money is an exchange for value offered. So you offer value and then you do what? You get money. That money is never meant to be begged for. It's actually meant to be earned. The same way they tell you that uh, uh, respect is not demanded, it is what? It's earned. Money is never meant to be begged for. Once you start begging for money, you know something, you live your life wrong. Something is wrong. Because money is not structured to be begged for. Right? Money is structured to be what? To be earned. Legitimate. You don't need to beg for it. It's supposed to be something that just comes to you. Because you deserve it. So as a salesman, you deserve the money that comes to you because you have offered the value somebody has been searching for. Somebody has been looking for a legit real estate company that will not do him or her. You are able to offer that to the person. Now you are earning 10% of the total transaction. Is that not fair? Yes. Somebody has been looking for a house in Nigeria that is well built, that can help him or her make extra income. You are able to provide that for the person. Then you get 5% for selling that house of 18 million naira. Then you smile to the bank. But you have provided value in exchange for that 5% that you are given. 
Does it make sense to you? Yes, Are we sure? Yes. So I want us to shout this. My name is Stephen Akitaya. I am a value adding salesman. I am a value adding salesman. I do not beg for sales. I do not beg for sales. I earn sales. I earn sales. When you start, let, let me tell you one of the beautiful things I love about being a salesman. If you're a good salesman, one of the ways you know is that you always get thank you all the time. Always get thank you. People know you got commission when you say thank you. If you are good, though. if you are not good. So if you are not getting enough thank you, then you are not doing your job well. Right? The mic I'm, I doubt is working if the battery is dead. So you can call them to us so that you change it. I will together now. If you are not getting enough thank you, enough thank you, then you are not doing your job well. You really are not doing your job. Because if you're doing your job very well as a good salesman, you always get people to say thank you. Ah, you don't know how you saved my life. You don't know how long I've been searching for this thing and you brought it my way in the easiest way possible. We are solution providers. We are helpers of people's destiny. Also, when customers be like, you know, on the city, you know, I bought four plots from me. I say, hey, when the property appreciates, what you are buying today for 12 million, when it grows to 40 million per plot, you lose send it to my account. They will not laugh. I say, so in reality, I have offered you what? Value. Does it make sense to talk? Yes, sir. And that's the way all of us need to think. I am a salesman. I'm offering value to my world. I don't need to beg for sales. I just need to show them value. Number two, which is also important before I get to my slide, is that good salespeople do act actually do not sell. They market value. They market what? Value. value. Or another way to put it, they do what we call information marketing. They don't sell. I don't sell, by the way. I don't know how to sell. All I do is, I market, can you reduce the volume a bit? All I do is to market the value that I have. Just educate you about it. So that's why I say information marketing. All I do is educate you about it. Right? And show you the benefits. I don't show features. What is the future of this place? Can anybody tell me? Features. So I will do the difference between future and benefit. What is the future of this place? Huh? The design. You like the design, huh? What else? Interior. What else? The environment. Lighting. World space seat. Isn't it? Yeah. Air condition. As a good. He has projector. Those are the what? The futures. What is now the benefit of this room? The way we are right now. What's the benefit? Huh? Comfort and comfort. Comfort. No. No. Let me tell you how you market this place. This is a place you can organize seminar and charge people fifty thousand per person and they will pay you. Lost you. Lost you. No, that's the first time I'm going to tell the customer. You guys are missing it. Benefit to the customer. The way this place looks, you can do a seminar and charge 50k. That's the way you are communicating. So you can see the problem you are having. Where you are saying, ah, buy Jasper Gardenia, a green and smart home, two bedroom, luxury apartment. Mm -mm. Do you know that you can own one or two units of Jasper and you'll be renting it out at five million up per house? See the difference? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's repeat it again. Ah, I'm selling Jasper Estate, green smart home located in Bezuleki. In fact, that you mentioned Bezuleki, who we need here? Green smart home. Mm -hmm. That's how I end up here, sweet talk. Hmm? Yeah, I don't want to live in Bezlekio. What have you done? You just shrink your market. 
Hmm? Buy one or two unit of two bedroom task by stuff. Rent it out to Dangote expatriates. Right? The seaport expatriate. They will pay you five million per annum. In fact, it's not the tenant who will be paying you, it's the company that will pay you. So you have guaranteed tenants and guaranteed income. Return on investment. What have I just done? Even Dangote itself can buy my house. Because everybody wants more money. Are you seeing the difference now? Mm. Everybody wants more money. Everybody has to go, oh, that's not bad. Right? You know, cash flow. Every year, five million is coming from one house. I'm on, in no time, I, and I got it for maybe, let's say, for five million. Wow. Less than 10 years because the house will keep appreciating now. You can't be renting it out at 5 million every year. Right? As population increase, the price will go up at some point. So before you know it, in less than 10 years, I'm done paying for what it cost me to get. And for the rest of my life and that of my children, we keep getting even more money from the rent. One more. It's a good investment. That is how we market. Mm -hmm. So you now see what we say. You, as a salesman, you do not market their uh, futures. You market the what the benefits. Is it getting clearer now? Yes, yes, yes. Right? You don't know how does he add more money to me when I own your house that you say I should come and buy? Have you noticed when I sell land too? I always use the word, I'm doing land banking. Even location I shouldn't be saying land banking. I should just have this place you can buy now and build your house. You will see me say, I say land banking. Now, do you know that you can buy this property now for 12 million and I can right now close to Jasper wanted to buy a place. They told me to pay 35 million. They are selling about 35 plus there. 35 million per plot. That's why I tell my customer. We are selling at 12 million. Some people are already selling at 35, 35 million per plot. If you leave this land for five to ten years, you will sell it for no less than 70 to 120 million. And the person's brain is smart. You see, I've seen it different. But you can come and buy land. Land, good, good land. You know, and then you will build your house, you know. <laughs> Even you, do you want to live in the Virgin No. So sometimes even the customer says, I can't live in the Virgin man, it's not about living. This is how some people said in those days when Lekki Fesua was selling. They should have bought it. And we sell it when it's appreciated. I mean, they don't need to live there. Right? I met a woman in London who told me she was a uh, um, principal of the high school in Saleko. And then they will come there, it's ruler. The day you pay 250, they will rule your name, write the amount, 500, rule. So when they come, say, well, you mean what London do, you know? And I do that here, you to a master. How do you talk like that now? Am I 75? They showed her a bullet, but she can't afford it. <laughs> All her junior who bought her realities are billionaires today. In fact, I did a training in London, and she had to be telling everybody, you know, people, hey, this is Dr. Stephen, this was how much I was doing it then. So now I'm okay, all my, oh, my children grew up here in London, they are, they are doing well, but they are not worthy enough to say, Mommy, we can afford to buy you lucky. And they all day to have their own children now trying to raise bills. And I missed that. that there was nothing. She told her, I said, there was nothing wrong with me going to my UK. But I could have still gotten that land. Right? And rented it up or sell it when it appreciated. But I don't know, you know, in those days you just let's leave, let's leave. Nigeria is messed up. If you go and watch, there's a documentary in 1984. It was exactly as if she's talking about 2021. And he has always been like this. There's always been talk about we will break, we will divide, it is finished. Worst country to live in. Worst index. <laughs> okay? Like that. And there's always been some of us who have always said we will leave Nigeria, but somehow, the witches in our village kept us here. <laughs> I don't think like that in the house. <laughs> If you be sincere, <laughs> but I don't think it's any wish that kept you. God kept you. 
Because there's something of value you need to add to this country. You were born for such a time as this. I can live anywhere in the world. Now have offices, UK, US. have non-Africans working for me. I live anywhere. I still keep coming back home. I just got back this week. Keep coming back. Because there's more solution to provide here. This world is boring. We are not solving problems. Are we together now? That's all right. Is this what? It's boring. 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 Why are you not solving problems? Boring. Unfortunately, some of us have been convinced that no, they show you that they back come Nigeria. Mm -hmm. May you be delivered. Yes. Because a lizard in Nigeria will not turn to an alligator in the US. Yes. It won't. It won't, sir. Hmm? The reason why I'm able to build businesses all over the world is because I am already an alligator in Nigeria. Would be so? So when I go to the US, I become an alligator. There. So why not become big here? And after that, you can fly. Do you agree? Yes. So make something tangible happen here. And one of the easiest ways to do it is to become a salesman. Skillful at it. Doing it with excitement. Doing it with joy. If there's one biggest mistake many of us are doing, is that we've been robbed of one word, three letter word joy. And we feed off this anger. The alternative is called what? Anger or sorrow. We feed our sorrow every day. Listen to news of how somebody, one devil stole 40 billion. They are like, ah, hey, you well, know, 400,000 I don't have. Nobody to put 40. Eh? Your heart is even giving out a time as you are calling the 40 billion. 40 billion. Bigger. Don't feed that. Are we together now? Yes. Whether you shall from now to tomorrow, those who want to steal Nigeria money will keep stealing. Make something great out of your life. You choose to make the billions legitimate. Move forward with your life. Infuse joy into your life. Joy. Joy. I've got joy like a river. Joy like a river. I've got joy. Oh, I've got joy like a river. Come on, joy like a river. I've got joy like a river in my soul. As I was saying, I used to have no one. I used to have no one. Right? Have joy. Not the one you just allow bad news of Nigeria. Yeah, don't listen to all this news. Not interested. The only time, listen, those who make news go watch them. I'm here to make news. I'm here to solve the problem. I can't allow the problem to defeat me and eh? oh they are robbing. And by the way, don't bring bad news to me. I have rules. One of the rules, if you see bad vision, keep it yourself. Pray by yourself. Don't tell me. I appreciate you. You care, but don't tell me bad news. Right. Anything fearful, don't bring in here. Say no. And that's why some people are not selling. Because the day you meet a customer, you don't even know the reason why the customer will be bad. It's the joy you refuse. This one says, ah, the joy is so messed up. Pafuka, everything finish. You to enjoy. And madam, I you don't tire me. The situation, done. After that, I say, hey, madam, hey, the five million for it. I should draw five million inside this nation that is finished. Rather than the person saying, I just finished it, man. But we're the one that will make it. In this country, man, by the grace of you, make it. Come with that teaser. Thank you, my sister. Hey, this is really still you're even talking. Can we do it? You see? A better way. Does that make sense at all? Yes. Yeah. Many have lost sales because of that. I remember a friend of mine went to a family to market after all the talk. 80 million property. Long talk. I didn't know this, said, man. Sir, can we pray? I said, why not? The day I said they'll get back to him. After prayer, I guess what they said, who don't want to bring the check? So we said, 
whoever needs us to pray, that you are the third person to come to market our stores. But we say, whoever says we should pray is the one we buy from. The other two people, why didn't they pray? They have allowed Nigeria or Allah to enter there. They can't even remember. I don't know how to They can't even remember. They can't even remember. I am understanding that you are to bring value to your customer. You are to bring joy. It's even your excitement that gets them to say, I will buy from you. You're a good person. I like you. I like your excitement. Are we going to improve? Yes. yes. Sir. Eh? We're going to meet people and get them excited, adding joy. So I want you to all shout. I see when I get tired. From today, from today, vow. Wow. To be, to be a joy distributor. Everywhere I go, I spread joy. My own, that's my job, spreading joy. I'm going to go somewhere and spread negative news. I do not tell a bad story on social media until it's solved. It's my rule. When I lost 20, 120 million dollars, I didn't say it until I made the money back. I don't go on social media and begin to tell people. How uh, did they the thief? Did they about don't buy it? I will not play this picture. Did they thief? This world is full of shark. Don't when you please don't enter shark infested waters. The people you are reporting to, they are worse than did they? And when you go about with all these bad news, they are waiting that you bring them close so that they will do their worst. I didn't do their work. Haven't you noticed how many people have had to divorce and in their second marriage is worse than their first? I don't know if you noticed. Because the, 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 of knowing to you, you attracted a worse person who was just pretending to be better than the ex. A worse person. So don't spread bad news, spread good ones. Because the more good news you spread, the more you attract lovers of what? Good news. People want good news. People are excited. How many of you have noticed that you will never see a sad salesman? That he you lost his son. You know what he means? Did you see all his video? Did you see the last congress? Did he didn't look like someone who lost his son. Marketers of joy don't allow things to enter them. They don't. I don't know that you understand what I'm saying. Because they understand the dynamics. You allow joy comes in, you die. Joy is a killer. I mean, sorrow is a killer. You allow sorrow to come in, you die. Because sorrow is a what? It's a killer. Negative news kills. If this is all you take, sir, you will sell better. I'm telling you. A salesman is a happy. I don't know if you have noticed Grand Cardone. Have you ever seen bad mood? Always come with excitement. Always goodness. Always energy. You think he doesn't have bad moments? He does. You think he doesn't have challenges? He does. It's a choice to say, I will go this route than this other route. Joy is a choice. The good news is, is one of the rare opportunities that you can decide. Many things you can't decide with this one. Who's your father? You can't decide. Mother? Whose country you will come from? Many of you will have loved you and say, Or you can. Why did God even put you in Nigeria? What was it in you? <laughs> you don't have control over the country you are going to be born. Are we together now? Yes, But you have control over the state of your heart. But I joy or something. You are coming. And once you take over that, your life is turned around. Does that make sense? Yes, so. So I'm not thinking like in China, I've first been sought after in this country. You started global, Jesus Global 13 years ago. Went to work SMS and 2015 we went into real estate. And in six years of being in real estate, we are in four continents of the world. We staff, with offices. We sell properties in the US, in the UK, in Dubai, and of course in Nigeria. Which you're putting your hands together. 
this company started with just 1,000 naira 13 years ago as a small business company. We started real estate too. I made up my mind, I finished school, no job. Who can I, what can I do? Printed on their CV. I will say, I the cover letter, don't pay me until I I approved myself in six months. One of the places I took the CV to, they said, there's no table and chair. We are not to take table and chair. It was easy the day. Because, of course, they couldn't hide the hide of under salary. I said, don't pay salary for six months. He said, no table and chair. And if someone like that has become this, there's no devil that can shorten your destiny. You can't but make it. There's hope. I don't know if you agree with me. Yes. Come on, I need energy. Yes. 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 So, since nobody will employ me, one of the jobs I had was to start marketing for other real estate companies. They give me 10% on land, 5% on house. One of the tools I started this one was WhatsApp brokers. Do you remember? No, BDM brokers. Do you remember BDM? Mm -hmm. My first customer. I met the client the day she came to me. I never met her. So she used to broadcast. I sell land, do sell land. And she paid out. I call my tenants. I say, yeah. <laughs> this is good. Mm -hmm. the long story short, today we'll build a multi billionaire real estate empire. And that will be somebody's story, guys. Amen. You pay the price. If you are consistent, you get that. So I want to share with you a few uh, secrets to becoming a good salesman. Right next. Uh, so yeah, I got. Um, they said I do real estate so much. They gave me a honorary doctorate degree in real estate. Okay. Well, okay. yeah, I'm going to talk about Local property brokers conference. Dr. Stevens with me. This guy is amazing. But now I'm going to do it again. Okay, I got 10,000 people. I'm going to do it again. They are in the wrong profession. If you don't know the legend of your industry, you are, in the, you are wrong. That's one of the first things you want to know. Why are the key guys in our industry? Why are they done? Right? He's done over two. $1.5 billion in real estate. I think uh, right now about $3.5 billion in real estate assets. It started with nothing, literally. And we hosted him in Nigeria uh, this year, May, and we are bringing him back in Nigeria physically next year. Are you happy to hear that? Yeah. And it's important. That's the first lesson I want you to take home today. You must have a mentor if you're going to be a super real estate rock star. Write it down. Have a mentor. One of the mentorship I enjoyed from Grant Cardone is sales. How to sell. He's a genius in that. You guys know that this man raised a billion dollars on social media. Do you know that? Social media. I guess how old he is. Who can I guess? 64. 64. Anybody older than 64 here? Yeah? Or up to 64, anybody? So you see that all these excuses that you know, so, you know social media, I want more day in your young people. 64 year old man. In fact, it's rated to be. The most influential person on social media in the world. 64. You probably are 50 something or 40 something. So, you know, I don't do this. This social media. You are leaving money on the table. Social media is not a tool to gossip or to troll people, it's a marketing tool. It's a marketing tool. All these I've said, and I, and I maintain it. If you have a cell phone, you are not making money. You're a waste time, God will judge you. You're wasting. Because you wasted the resources to get a smartphone. And it's not generating money. With my, I use, always use the latest phone. 
Those are generated billions of naira on WhatsApp. WhatsApp is the biggest marketing tool. WhatsApp, I don't know who calls. WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Instead of many of us to engage these tools, we are busy fighting people, we are busy talking to Why you didn't remember you this morning? <laughs> It is a joke. Boom. I don't know your name. It's busy about his son's wedding. <laughs> Why will you be busy about your own life? Instead of discussing, getting angry over people who don't care. Are we together now? Yes, sir. Get a sales mentor. Don't tell me you're a real estate uh, a salesman and you don't have a mentor. No, it's wrong. So the question is, how do I get one, Abby? Is that the question? Yes. You either solve or pay. Pick one. You either solve one. You look for somebody who is successful or you serve him. So I will come work with you for free. Don't pay me. I just want to work and serve and learn. That's one of the ways. That's how that love did it. Who knows that love? Is that it? In fact, the man said no. You know what he started doing? He resumed the man's office, meets his uh, office assistant that is cleaning. He said, let me join you to clean, I'm not charging. And the man will resume and see him cleaning his office. That's all I said, damn. I took him in and taught him the rest. Are we together now? Another way is to pay. So we say you either serve or you what? You pay. That's why I love when I see young people just finish school, then you are looking for where they will pay fast salary. Mate te lo koba le lo pe. Te te lo koma ba lo pe. Who can who knows the name of that? Have money. Don't quickly have money so that your wealth will last. Hmm? Quickly have money. So that you don't retain it for a longer time. That's what this generation is to learn. Put your phone on silence. A lot of these calls that you guys are making, I don't understand. Eh? I sell property in billions of dollars. I don't pick calls. My phone is always on silence. These are things you need to learn. Right? I can't, I can't, I don't, and, and I've met several wealthy people. It's the same. Right? Hello, 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 hello. Important call. What is important there? What is really important? Are they about to pay 50 million? Right? Send it to us. I'm in a meeting. That will change my life. The definition of eternity is doing the same thing over and over again. I expect a different result. You've been doing the same picking calls. How far? Settle down. Drop the phone. Put it on silence. Many of us, our problem is that we like to look rich rather than actually be rich. Look busy, but not productive. Are we together now? Yes. The, one of the biggest deliverances in my life was when I made up my mind no more phone calls. Chat me up. I mean, I'm happy to chat. Because there was a time I almost ran mad. Hello, hello, hello. And then the calls keep coming. I can't even think straight. Chat me. At least when I have time, I will what? I will reply. Does it make sense at all? Yes. But calling, calling, you need to find a way to. It's a secret. It's not by how many, how many times. I'm not even noticed that. A lot of the richest people in the world, their numbers are not available. Have you noticed that? Hmm? I don't know if you noticed that. Did the time went to call you? One day you just hear and it's there. Like, hey, hey, you're almost falling out of your chair. Like, sir, it's, it's such a honor, sir. I don't know if you have had that experience. Hmm? Yeah, you're almost falling out of your chair. Many of the most successful people, and you know the reason why? Hmm? There's a level you get to that 
if you are really that big, it's not you that picks up. Yeah. If you really want to risk it, like that, that's why. Again, if you don't know protocol well, you can't sell to them. Some of you want to sell to a rich man, you are busy with that. He doesn't have your time. Go and talk to his PA. I know an angel of a bank now that did business with me. Who did it? It's his PA. Even him did it, his daughter did business. He didn't even know the daughter bought property. It was the PA that did it. Some of the people you are chasing, some of you, you, you see them. The PA. <laughs> PA, how are you? Hello? You better see that PA well. How do you think that in the chief of staff to the president is the most powerful person, even more than the VP? Because that's the PA. These are secret to, to assessing wealthy people. So there's a way you get that no matter if it's urgent, they know they have to get rid of you. Okay, how many of you think anybody can call the president of any country, no matter how small the country is? You can't. There's a protocol. You call the office of the what? The president. Then they will say, we'll get back to you. We'll check the His Excellency's schedule. I'll get back to you as to when you have a conversation with His Excellency. Oh, my mentor, I will never forget this. When uh, um, the PA to somebody was telling me, he's a very successful man. He said, sometimes this is my mentor will come and say, I want to talk to your boss. He's a very powerful man. The other was he understand the protocol. Now, this guy, and funny enough, the person, his boss, oh, is like a spiritual son to the man. But we still call his peer and say, tell your boss I'm talking to you. So even successful people know protocol. Unfortunately, it's all successful people that don't understand that. <clears throat> and the reality is this, if you meet a real customer that wants to buy, you understand protocol and respect that. It's because many of, and this is how many of us attract, somebody was telling me that he took a client to one of the estates. Right, that he came to the first one, the person said no. And I know the place, it's a lie. He took him to the second one, he said, ah. I said, and I told him, I said, you have just attracted somebody who doesn't have capacity to buy. He only wasted your time. He only wasted. And that's what many of us do. Always attracting people who really, I don't really understand, cannot. Can I shock you? If somebody is asking you too many questions, for a longer time, he's not ready to buy. Serious buyers eh, ask questions after they've paid you. How have you had that experience? Yeah, yeah. After they've paid, it's not ready. Hey, that bag, does he ask you of hope? <laughs> right? Because if they really have the money, if when people have money, they are ready to pay. They need to do it. Right? It's when you don't have money that all the questions in this world, it is harder to sell to a poor man than a rich man. Yeah. How many of you have seen me do Facebook and I said, well, I'm willing to share with some people best properties to buy, but if you don't have 10 million, don't chat me. Have you seen me say that? Yeah. Hmm? Say it's arrogant, your opinion. And I tell you, those who really have the 10 million, they chat. Yeah. And I'm able to close the deal. And you say, I don't want to be good. Okay. Well, humility will pay your bills. Hmm? Right? You must see the customer, see them. There's some people who are not ready. And they, are, they have the time to waste. They will follow you. 99.9% of my customers do not see my land before they pay. So when you tell me, sir, my customer say he must see the land, I'm already thinking. 70% of the time, the customer is not ready to pay. He has time to go and see land. He has the time. Mm. Me now, if I want to buy land, you think I have the time? Send me the video. Send me the document. At best, maybe my lawyer will go. All the estates we have today that we bought in the last how many years, there's none that I went to the place to buy it. We just launched uh, um, in the Badon. Right? And you know, if I have 191 acres, so I have not seen the place. And we have paid. These people who don't have money, you know, money, yeah. you know eh? money, yeah. Eh, exactly. 
He said, no, we, we must check. We must be sure. You know, I have to be sure. It's a lie. They don't have the money. <laughs> Something being sure. Uh, so, learn to see. Does that make sense at all? So that people don't just waste your time. You're excited. I got the right client. He's ready to pay me. Why? In many cases, he's not ready. Next. So, the first thing, get a what? A mentor. Does that make sense at all? Yes, sir. We are ready to mentor you. The free mentorship we have is the GCP that Mr. Farouk has taught you. How do you join that? Register on www.porter.gtechzones.com Once you register, it will redirect you to a WhatsApp group. Make sure you join the WhatsApp group. Step two, immediately join them. There's an inspection tomorrow. Join. You know, some of us honestly were not serious about our job. How can you say you are selling property you are not seeing? You don't say you are not seeing. Go to the land, do video, do video. I am live here in so so estate. You can buy this estate, it's a good one. Do video there. Does it make sense at all? Share the flyer on social media. Do pay that advice. See, you don't know how to do pay that advice. Go to GTEX Homes on YouTube. Subscribe. See, like that TV on YouTube. We don't send videos on how to do pay that advice. Put in 20,000. Use your ZUBA uh, card or GT Bank card. Put the thing. Instagram. Bam. 20K. Leads will start coming. Because many of us, if you are from a poor home like me, we do not have people with capacity to buy. It's not an insult. It's the reality. If you're also young, you do not know people who can buy. Most of your mates are still sitting in their mama's house talking milk. So what do you do? You then do pay that back to attract what those who can afford to work to buy. Are we learning? Yes, sir. That's how you do it. So you see people say, Dr. Simi, I've been doing this and I can't say most of how many people do you know that has 20 million sitting there? You don't know them. Don't let people deceive you. You don't know them. So do paid adverts so that you can attract those people. I did it. That's why I know most of the people I know today. And nobody in my lineage is a rich man. My father is the first to travel out of Nigeria. And they sponsored him to Israel. In the entire line. So when I tell people you can come out of poverty, I'm speaking from experience, not stories. Not stories. My father is the first to buy a car in the entire line. B2. Hallelujah. I will not change that story now. Somebody here will break generational records. Hey, hey, hey. Amen. 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 Generational records. Break it. Does it make sense at all? Yes. So visit this website, register. Don't don't you shouldn't leave your radio in there. Join the WhatsApp group. Join them tomorrow as they inspect the site. Ask questions like you are the one that want to buy. Do your video, do pay that back. So there are two videos you should do. One should be two-minute video that is also somebody help you hold. Hello, I'm live here at this estate. This is the reason why you should buy. The second one is you go live on your phone. Hello, we're here. We sell land. We sell house. Come and buy. Peace of mind. Right? Do your talking. Because some people trust Facebook Live. They are recorded. They feel you can, you know, you can doctor the recorded video. So now you have the truth. Does this make sense at all? Yes. Now, God has helped us to produce several mentees with good results. This is one of them. What did you see here? This one. One year. How of you think that you should join my coach? Eh? Who thinks you should join my coach? If what I thought somebody could make him a billionaire, you can see it's one that wrote to the one the sharing story. Not that uh, that's why one reason why GTEX do screenshot like this so that you can go and check, you know, it's not uh, it's really not. Okay. Again, how many of you think you need a mentor? 
Eh? What mentors do is that if there's any shortcut to success in life, mentorship is a shortcut. That's a quotable quote. Someone should let me write that down. If there is any shortcut to success in life, mentorship is the shortcut. Mentorship. Having a mentor. There's no way this guy would have done two billion in one year without what he learned. And there's nobody else who can teach him that somebody who's a billionaire is You can't give what you do now. I was together now. You can't do what? You can't give what you do now. Somebody is also coming here today to share her testimony. TMO. And she's a presenter on your view. I don't know if you watch your view. Right? So, famous, but not too much money. There's no business she's going to make up all manner. The women. The real estate is a good one. Every month now, she does at least 40 million. But mentorship. It was mentorship. It was mentorship. It was even in Dubai. Mentorship. But yesterday she took me out on dinner. Say, you know, okay, I want to take another left step. You need to download. Yes. Eh? Yes. Are we together now? Yes. So it's important that we get we understand this dimension to, to success. You need mentor. Two ways to get a mentor. You either serve or you what? You pay. So this category of mentorship. I charge ten thousand dollars for it, right? Ten what? Ten thousand dollars. How much is that in naira? That's about a little above five million. How much is five million to two billion? Yes. Because this one, I'm the one personally helping you. So. If you know you can have own two billion, sell two billion between now and next year, this time next year, and all you need is five million, do you think it's not wisdom not to pay the five million? Yes. If you have to borrow it, because it's business. But our problem is spending wise by foolish. Many of us would rather keep that five million. I, I can't do it. <laughs> you have five million finish. Right? And say, no, this world, this world, no. Anything of value comes with a what? With a price. With a price. We brought you here, you know, and give you a lot of the opportunity. The value of this is for to charge is two hundred dollars, hundred thousand. But we need it free. Right? But that's the way life is. You want more. You pay. You have had a taste now. I don't know if you have had a taste. Yes. You want more? You pay. That's the way life is. The biggest reasons why many people are poor is that, let me say this, is that they don't want to pay for value, yet they want people to pay them. You expect everything you get to be free, yet you want people to pay. It doesn't work that way. Because the only way to be rich is that people pay you for the value you have offered. Does it make sense at all? That's the only way to be rich. So if you are not willing to pay others for their own value, I would say, how can others pay you? And this is where many of us miss it. It's a different thing that you can't afford it. Then go through the free ones and move up the ladder. Right? But to expect everything in life to be free, there's something wrong with you. You yes. can't attract wealth that way. You have to know that I give, I get. I give, I get. This year alone, I spent 150,000 US dollars to learn from People like Grand Cardone, your Maxwell and Co. All fifty thousand dollars. That's how much in Nigeria now. That's in excess of sixty million, not thirty five. To learn from those ahead. So that's why we are going further. Next. How to become a successful what property sales person? So I've shared with you a couple. One of the things I've shared is what? Get a mentor. What else? Social media. Doing social media campaign, doing adverts. Right? Understanding protocol to wealth, isn't it? Yes. Huh? Sell with joy. Thank you. That's, I think, the first one. 
was sales selling with joy, I think was the first. They will move to mentorship. Okay, sell the benefits. So we start with joy. The next was sell, sell the, benefits. the benefits, information marketing. Then the third is what? Mentorship. It's mentorship. Next. So even though this is number one, make it number four, isn't it? Now know your products and make research a habit. Ophiana says knowledge is power. Information is vibrating. Education is the premise of progress in every society, in every family. Right? The amount of money you are making is the direct proportion to how deep you understand your marketplace. Marketplace pain and how to help to relieve them. If you don't know the pain of your marketplace, if you don't provide the relief, you are not going to be rich. GTEX is GTEX because we solve a couple of pains. One of the pains we solve was the pain of third party. People buy land and then their cousin go and collect the document, their father, their mother, and those ones go and sell the land and they lose everything. So when we came, we said we will deliver your document to anywhere in the world. We will stream the land to you. When we are the inspector, we stream, you can watch it from anywhere, so you can see which land was given to you. What have we done? We have relieved their money, they are paid. Does it make sense at all? So, these are key things you need to understand to be a salesperson. So, which is why I can't understand when you say you sell property and don't go and inspect it. How do you leave the pain, the pain of distrust? Well, because when I say, we don't, we're not sure these properties are real. We will just say they are self but we've not seen it. We're not sure. It's going there, doing videos and showing them, you believe the, believe the pain. Next slide. But you must do your research. Number two, I went deeper um, in the first lecture, so I'm not going to do this section lecture. Number two, build a trustworthy personal brand. Build a what? Trustworthy personal brand. How do you build a trustworthy personal brand? Build your social capital. Build credibility. What is social capital? The perception that you are genuine, you're true, you're trustworthy, you have integrity. is the perception. So not only must you have integrity, you must be perceived to have it. You must take actions that prove you have it. You must make your, your, your path work straight. So for us, one of the things that helped us was, in real estate, I remember a game changer happened when I made up my mind that we're not going to be asking people for investment when we start real estate. We will find a way to struggle through it. We will prove to them, we will show them evidence that we have done it before we start asking for money. So at some point we realized we build enough social capital. And then when we launch an estate, two weeks to the launch, we said, well, we're launching this estate. If you are paying early, you pay this amount. If you pay later, ladies and gentlemen, two weeks to raise over almost 200 million for a land that has not been launched, for a land in nothing. Because of what? Social capital. So social capital is building credibility. Over time, people see you are consistent. This guy can do it. We've seen him done it for four years, for three years. We've seen him. And we've seen him do it with integrity. Everything is transparent. He's not hiding things. So we can trust this person. So when you tell me, I don't have social, I, I don't have money. It's not money you need, you, have, you need social capital. Another definition of social capital is experience plus knowledge. And write that down. Another definition of what social capital is what? Experience plus what? When people know your experience and your knowledge, they don't give you their money. Money is never the problem. Money is never the problem. Never. As in my office sometimes, someone was begging me with money. So we just don't do that. It's not just us. Not just us. If you have experience and you know what you are doing, people will beg you for money. You will beg for money. They will beg you. Today, people beg me to buy property from me, to invest with me. They beg me. 
because you've seen credibility. You've seen credibility. Next. Consistent training. Constant training and role play, right? Now, if you are not consistent, you will not go far. Constant training and role play. So, if you are going to be successful in real estate, you have to be trained like you are here. We have to do role play. We are going to practicalize. I bring a mic. I need two volunteers. Two volunteers to come up. Where is my PA? Well, first of all, I'm giving you each of you five five thousand. Wow. Yes, that's number one lesson. You did. Listen, success is like a man jumping down from an airplane without a parachute, trying to figure out how to land on his way down. If you wait, analysis is the reason why many are paralyzed. Volunteer, jump out. First. Hmm? All these days, I don't know what I'm volunteering about. I don't want to be embarrassed. Mm -hmm. The reason why people don't get it. Are we together now? Yes. Also, let me tell them to reduce the AC. Some people are feeling cold. So, I need to market to him. That's our old role plays. Right? So, market any of our estate to him. Want to go? Hi, guy. I'm Charles Wayne. I'm a consultant with GTEx Homes. Well, I'm actually live at, at White House Estate at home, Ogun State. You know, one of the benefits of buying our properties is that it has the, the proximity to the roadside is very close. And not just that, when you invest into this property, the high return on investment is so juicy. And it's something you cannot afford to lose for any reason. Thank you. I'll clap for him. At least he's very So, one of the benefits of role play is that practice, they say what? Makes perfect. And the more role play you do, the better you get. First of all, you are getting confident. But what are the flaws? Number one, he needed to know this person better. Right? He's in, he introduced himself very well, but he needed to show more interest. One of the, the things I talked earlier in the first session is that good salespeople do not sell. What do they do? They educate. Right? So, I've made more deals just interacting friendly with people than actually trying to sell to them. So, what you want to do is, what's your name, sir? What do you do? Is in letting customer talk that you know their pain point. And once you know their pain point, as long as you have a solution to their pain point, what happens? You've made money. Does it make sense at all? Yes. So those are a couple of things you needed to do better. Understand the customer, understand the pain point, to even be able to know what to sell to the person. Even understand the person's budget, what the person can afford, right, before I recommend it. So it's your turn, give him the mic. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, my name is Emma Godwin Uja. Um, I work with um, GTX Homes. Um, I would like to know you, sir. Okay, um, Mr. Charles, um, first of all, like I said, I work with the GTX Homes and um, I want to inform you about different opportunities in our um, organizations. Now, we are into real estate and we sell land, house at different locations in Lagos. We have an e bedroom lake here, we have um, just by the estate, we have so many estates around, even outside Lagos. All right, and um, I'm trying to want to let you know that um, getting um, 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 one of this um, land or house or anything you want to get from us will be of great value to you. All right, I'm telling you this because I know um, with the way and um, the, 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 the way things are going, 
I know that uh, we all want to make more money and make more incomes for ourselves. Now, it doesn't mean that you need to live in that place, for example, that you get a house from us. You don't need to live there. You can make that as a source of income for yourself, all right? You can build apartments on the land, or even if you don't have finances to build on that land, you can leave it there, and then one way or the other, you, you, you can rent it out. It's another form of income for you. I will so, for him. I think in the next time you become a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> so, a couple of things you could do better. Um, number one, you still didn't correct what I corrected him about. You need to know him. Right? So, sir, I am this, I do this, sir. What do you do? Right? Even if they, they are giving monologue like I'm, G, I'm Richard, sir, what do you do, sir? Right? Oh, beautiful, amazing, nice to know. Find a common ground. The biggest secret is when you're meeting people, find something you have in common. Right? For example, sometimes I meet, you know, I was in, I do it every day. I was in this, I was, uh, I went to have, have um, a lunch. And in the elevator, and you see my dresser. And, and they did it for me well, and I did it for them well. So some of the guys in there, they just noticed I was quiet. I want to say, are you from Senegal? Right? Forget that. You probably know I'm in Nigeria. <laughs> but you see, that's they call icebreaker. All right? So the that's because they were too like, ah, yeah, that, is it because of his color? He looks dark like them. Say no, maybe the dressing, that's Senegal or Kinikom. And earlier they had been speaking now, sir. So I said, well, um, this dark skin is actually Medugui. So, are you, are you, are you, are you? I said I was born from there. You see how you are? Why did I mention Medugui? I could have mentioned I'm in Nigeria. But because they have spoken outside, right? So they are northerners, right? A common ground is that, you know, I'd be your blood. Hmm? Make sense? Yes. I will learn in a talk. Mm -hmm. Even in Dubai, I did that a lot because they speak Arabic in Dubai. Now, I say, well, Arabic was the first language I learned, which was trash. My first course was, Arab, was uh, Arab, um, Islamic school. Right? So always find common ground. Always think to it. It could be uh, something that connects. It just soften. Soften. Yes, it soften the ground. I find some, that's why you ask, sometimes when you ask those questions, you're just looking for a common ground, like, oh, okay, um, yeah, where are you, okay, what do you do, sir? People want to talk, you just need to ask them. They want to feel special. They just go around things, rapping, uh, our land, our, come on, hear them too. Let them feel good. Hear from them. Another thing that I think you could do better, you have a question? No, I want to, like that common ground or you You want to do role play? I want to do role play. <laughs> no, 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 we don't have time. And we're waiting, what's the time now? I mean, it's the four. Huh? Yeah, so I, I want to wrap up at least 15 minutes after four, so. Um, other thing it, to notice, and these are powerful things you must learn, it's called what we call elevator speech. If you meet, me right now. Many of you have that problem. If you meet me right now, one on one, just me and you, what will you tell me? Because you should know you only have 30 seconds to make something tangible. Okay, you my <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We start from there. Thirteen seconds. Yeah, you want to try? Ah, awesome! How many plots have you sold? I don't feel like you see something. Really? Trust me, I've seen a lot in this movie. Yeah, but I appreciate you. God bless you. Sir, I'd like to know you more, sir. You'd like to know me more? Yeah. You can Google it. <laughs> 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 okay, you're too slow now. <laughs>
Mm. Well, I actually don't even give you my phone number, <laughs> but my PA is there, you can talk to her and have her number, anything you want, I'm available. Mm. Right. <laughs> so, let me teach you the, yes, the secret, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, come for me now. <laughs> Africa's most sought after investment coach, you never forget that one. The people tell this way, I met a man, he says he's Africa, so I'm going to Google it to be sure. But who forget, that's the striking one. Right? Africa, he must be an important person. I remember, I also dress important. That is the reason why those guys were talking, they want to know me, because whoever dress like this, <laughs> he must be confident. There are certain dressing you don't dress if you, something is not there. <laughs> uh, so they wanted to, so that we have enough time. But they were smart to have even, you know, done that much. Does it make sense to talk? So you want to introduce yourself as an authority, big authority. Number two, you want to then mention benefit of your authority to them, which is in this case, you can make more money through real estate investment. Right? Remember that's part of what I said, right? You, you know, I help people to make money. And I would love to add some few millions of dollars to your, your bank account. Would you be interested? That's number three. You must get a yes from them. Because that yes is an authority to come closer or to say more. Because if you don't get them to say yes, then if you continue the long story, you are turning to a nuisance. Yeah. But you get a yes, that's it. You can, it's not easy to say, sir, you know, can I talk more or can I have your car so that we can schedule a time where I can give you a proper brief. Does that make sense at all? But I have been able to get a yes. That yes is critical. So having done that, I must then ask a question that I know I must get a yes. That's why you saw me say, I don't mind, you know, I help people to add millions into their bank account through real estate investing. Sir, so will you be interested? You must ask that question. And you should be able to do this in 30 seconds, or max one minute. That's what they call an elevator. Before the elevator gets to where you or him is going to, you must finish everything. Have we learned something? Yes. Come oh, on, put your hands together for them. Let's let me give that five hundred k to you guys here, right? Just to appreciate that. Next, build good network. Millionaires only make friends with result-oriented people. That's my quotable quote. 
work on building relationships with people financially who are financially better than you. The people you miss that who whoever you dislike. A man's gifts make it room for him and bring it him before great men. You can never, the quality of your life is a function of the quality of people around you. That's why I love when I see poor people, right, despise rich people. Who can make your life better? Two poor people can help themselves. You both care for each other, but you can't help. You don't have the means. I learned that when my mother was dying of ovarian cancer. Because all the friends she had were civil servants. They themselves needed money. So there's no way they could take care of her or raise money for her to go for uh, uh, operation or take care of herself. <coughs> Two poor people cannot help themselves, ladies and gentlemen. They cannot. So when you live a life where everybody around you is poor, you are hurting yourself. If five closest people to you are poor, you'll soon be the sixth one, even if you are rich now. They will run you drain. And you know, we do community poverty. Community induced poverty is what we do in Africa. Everybody begs you for money till they run you dry until you eat into your profit. They have nothing to show. And they still come back and say you are stingy. Meanwhile, they run you to the ground. You now see why I always say to people the day you overcome the need to please human beings is the day you are 50% wealthy. Just that, you know. What they are feeling, what they think, how they feel. If you can overcome the need to please people. Because you can't please people, that's the meaning of it. Jesus could do it, Muhammad could do it. Huh? Couldn't. So if all these great people could not do it, is it you? Moses, with all risking his life to save the children of Israel, he couldn't. They even provoke him to anger and make sure he needs that place. So why, why, why do some of us live such life? Trying to please people? Always having a conversation about what people think, what people say. It's their opinion and they are entitled to it. You don't like me, your opinion. I love me. I think the world will be a better place with more people like me. I'm the express image of God. You are taller than me, you are too tall. Shorter than me, too short. Darker than me, too dark. Fairer than me, you are too fair. Chubbier than me, too chubby. Slimmer than me, you are too skinny. I am the perfect expression of the image of God. You want to see God, you are seeing Him in me. That's the way you should carry your life. Not saying what they think, how they feel, you know. I don't understand. Some people will enter my office and say, since you are not feeling good, what do you mean by it? I'm always serious minded. Are you reading my mind? My friend goes straight to the point. <laughs> then you are just saying maybe you are not in a good mood. What do you mean by that? You read mind? Go straight to the point. <laughs> right? You don't read mind. Go straight. If you are a speaker, how many of you are speakers have ever done public speaking? Hmm? Have you had experience where some of some people in the audience they are not laughing? Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, hmm? They're not laughing. We're almost like if you beat yourself. They wait, all waiting to talk now, rubbish, but not finished. We'll wait for you for a year now. How many of you have now had the encounter with them after the event and you saw the most appreciative people in the entire class. Me and my father. Well, after the event, those same people, they appreciate, if I saw kids, they don't want to now buy your product. All of them will be saying, hey, yeah, right up, right up. <laughs> <laughs> so if you live a life where you are just watching people, their body like their face, you will move forward. Right? Because everything is about trying to read People that you can't please move on. So one of the powerful secrets here is build network with healthy people. 
when I started building network where the, I used to feel their scorn, you know, their, their, uh, a lot of the billionaires I met, I used to feel their, what do we call this now, that they, they are snobs, right? Because, you know, they are chatting, and hey, can we meet today? They say, oh, they all through this week, busy. So next week, say, hey, next week, uh, maybe Thursday. Say, how about 10 a.m.? I know, I can, I, uh, maybe from 5 p.m. Uh, uh, or God. We we'll meet 5 p.m. <laughs> when will I go back home? <laughs> <laughs> but what helped me was what I'm teaching here, which is I learned not to despise people who are wealthier than I am. Nami wants something. Two peace you must not have in your life poverty and pride. <laughs> you cannot be poor and proud at the same time. <laughs> You can. Huh? It's dead. Even God can't help you. If you be proud, be rich. It's in the Bible. That rich men talk rough. Read it, Proverbs. So, at least be rich. Does that make sense at all? But to be poor and you're arrogant at the same time, God can, the Bible says, God resists the proud. So understand the importance of having to say, you know what, I am the one that needs something from this person. And that's one of the things I have to do with my I will be like that. okay, how about next month? How about three months time? Can we go and play golf? Today now, level has changed. We are colleagues now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> but if I was proud then, I will not have learned what has helped me to be where I am today. Am I making sense? Yes. yes. So it's you that need something. It's you that have to figure it out and find a way. Build your network. Home. The biggest reason many are not selling is that you don't have people can afford. Don't let anybody bamboozle you. They cannot pay. You don't have the money. Hmm? You don't have the money. So why waste your energy? Why waste your time? They don't have. Right? And then you say, sir, I have two clients interested. How? If I want the biggest ways to know whether people can afford or not, you go straight to the point. I remember sharing this story with my staff. I was in Grand Cardone's training. So I wanted to join, uh, do his book university program for my staff. So I was talking to some of the others. I, I need somebody in sales. I want to do this. So they then they brought the person says that's when I know that sales is direct talk. They say, hey, how are you? How can I help you? I'm John. They say, oh, I want to sign up for Grand Cardone for my star. They say, I read to pay now. <laughs> <laughs> that's the next question. <laughs> no story. Some of you say, no, no, that would be rude now. Let me first greet you. Let me first parambulate. That's how you use it. It's not even what you say that I'm proof that you don't know the job. Eh? I said, ah, this one is like I said, no, no, this one. Because it's you that use your mouth oh, to, to that say what is not even correct. I remember one of my staff one time who was trying to sell a house. I said, um, yes, the, the land is, the kind of, is it freehold or leasehold? Rather than say, give me some time, say, put your phone on silence, everyone. Rather than say, I will confirm and get back to you. He said, don't do that. Send a text, madam. A text. Don't pick the call. It's rude to the person you are having meeting with. Right? And it's also not to... If you are talking to an intelligent person, if you really are busy, how were you able to still say, I'm busy? To me, it sounds shady. Just don't want to pick the call. So what is better is send the text. I'm in a training right now. I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done with the training. Right? Are we together now? Better way, and I'm teaching you global best practice. People call you, they're in a training, send the text. In fact, many of the phones now have auto. Right where you can say, I'm in a meeting, auto-response, I'm in a meeting, I'm in this. 
So you can just trigger it and send. But to pick the call and say, and I see Nigerians do this a lot. It's not professional. Root to the person that you are doing meeting with, and it's also a sign of if is an intelligent person you just you will not because how were you in a meeting and you're able to to pick the call? Yeah, you know, doesn't make any sense. And if you're able to squeeze some two minutes to say I'm in a meeting, why not Google let us finish? We will not spend too much time now. Right? <laughs> Okay, I remember many wealthy people are quite intelligent. Yeah. Right? So you don't want to, to do that. So when was I was the last time I said? Are you ready to say the guy gave it to me. Oh yeah, this soul, so I cannot rank her down. So the client says in this soul of freehold. Many of you don't even know that. There's the house I'm buying, is in this soul of freehold. Rather than say, sir. Uh, let me confirm and get back to you. This is my start time I was there. So uh, actually, mm, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's freehold. It's, uh, it was about the very problem. It's only the citizen that they give this hold. Hmm? The person said, no, that's wrong. <laughs> no, citizens are supposed to be the one to have freehold. <laughs> Um, so something's wrong there. Uh, you know, of course she tried to use a good you and I thought she was there and said, Madam, you have just killed the deal. By the way, the client is in there. So when I corrected her, I told her to call the client again and but people are too skeptical. You are one blunder. <laughs> this is why. Even I'm sure the client will feel that no. The your guy just want to deceive me to buy. And in reality, actually, it was free old. She just didn't know the job. Right? And people are that way. They're just too skeptical. They just know, no, maybe this is the second one is saying. So you are better off to say, let me get back to you. Let me get back to you. Rather than just trying to say you use brain. And we do that to lot as Nigerians. So build wealthy network. Just make five close friends who are rich, and I guarantee you, you will be the sixth rich man. That's how I got here. 2016. So I'm tired of doing hundreds of millions in transactions. I want to be a billionaire. So I vowed that all the trainings I will attend that year, it must be billionaires that are talking to me. You can't give me what you don't have. I'm already doing hundreds of millions, but I want to hear. Billionaire stock. I even told God to. Well, God told me one simple message. Who want to hear what God told me? What's that? Hmm? I told God, I want to be a billionaire. He said, raise millionaires and your billionaire status is automatic. Raise millionaires and your billionaire status is automatic. So, one of the things I did. All through 2016, I was only listening to billionaires and I got close to some. Started understanding them. Oh, I was shocked. First thing I saw is work ethic. He can work like no man's business. So the person who told me that rich people are lazy, he missed it. The only thing is that they do mental work. Right? They do mental work more than fiscal work. But they work either way. Work is still there. Mental or fiscal. Work is work. Mm -hmm. hmm? And you try it. Working till 2 a.m. every day. Doing 14, 16 hours a day. Even if all you are doing is reading books, checking that document, approving document, analyzing things, it's still. That's why do you think a lot of these ministers, right? First of all, before he became governor, very handsome dude, black hair, everything white. white. It's called mental work. Men, mental. Mental work. It's tougher than physical work. Because physical work is. Mental work is boring. You keep regurgitating, regurgitating. Same thing. Right? I'm thinking, best way, again. There's another better way. You go over it again. This business, again. This business, again. How do I sell, for example? This is how you do it. How do I sell 10 plots between 9 and 31st of August? 
Okay? I should make a list of 20 people who can buy and call them. Is that not good enough? Where do most of us stop? Ah, but it is a smart idea. Somebody will do a mental work. We say, I'll produce 10 of such solutions. So that's solution one. Solution two again. And you see how you're already getting tired already. To think of two. Meanwhile, you're going to ten. Ten sound solutions like that. And that's how wealthy people become. That's why it looks as if the problem Nigeria is facing, they are not facing it. Because they have ten methods. If this one fails, then we'll try this one. This one fails, we'll try this one. This one fails, we'll try this one. At least two will work. Or one. Either way, we are not where we used to be. Are we learning at all? Yes. yes. And this is how people become successful. Because of time, I have to pause here, ladies and gentlemen. I wish we can continue. We need to take a break, and then 5 p.m. we'll do the last session for the day. Right? You can go if you have other things to do. You can wait if you want to. Remember, faith comment by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If you have been blessed, come on, put your hands together. I'll take three questions only and we'll shut down for the day. Three questions. Just raise your hand if you have a question. One, two, and three. Yes. yes. Man with the cup immediately, please. Okay, so as to be fair, the old men, do you have any female who has question? Okay. Number four. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir, doctor. May God Almighty continue in um, blessing your family. Um, for closing the deal, if a potential client asks for the duration of completing the off-plan um, uh, property units. What is the range in which you can respond to that um, client uh, uh, properties off-plan into the duration of completing the, the stock? Well, our housing project is um, 20 months uh, spread and 90 days from the day you finish paying, we give you your keys, right? And so that's what we do. So 20 months, you spread, you deposit the initial deposit and you spread the rest in 20 months. Okay, for land, we only do three months, right? For land, that's the storm. If you want to do six months, it's extra. You want to do nine months, extra. You want to do one year, extra. So every quarter, there's an addition if you are. Spreading. Make sense? The second person, if you are number two, raise your hand. So they can give you the mic. Number two, that's the mic. Who is number three? Number three, that's number four. Yes. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity of this training. You mentioned uh, during the training that um, you can go live on the site. So we can use it for social media campaign. And then the second one you said we can meet details home and get an information. So I want to understand that answer. Okay. Uh, I think maybe you came a bit late. Uh, Mr. Farouk taught us how to join GTS officially as a marketer for us. I will show you the website www.portal.gtexhome.com. You register today. You join the WhatsApp group. Tomorrow, um, at what time? Is it 7 a.m.? 7 7.30. You meet us in our office in Omole. There's a vehicle. I'll convey you to the estate we're expecting in Igazuleki. Right? It's free transportation. And you can go and inspect tomorrow. And I think you should. Um, many of us are just not hungry for what we want. You know, a lot of times we want success. But we're not hungry enough. We're not pushing enough. If you really are determined, we do it. Somebody was sharing with me, I think it was TMO, 
I saw she interviewed somebody and it was you came for a job interview. They say you should resume. They are saying you need one week to gather yourself. What are you gathering? <laughs> Were you not jobless in the first place? Shouldn't you have gathered yourself to resume <laughs> once you get the job? I, so she was saying to me that right now, if you, doctor, doesn't give me a job, right now, I'm calling my husband to say, I got a job, I'm resuming tomorrow. Oh my Lord, as long as my husband is here, money day. Move. And say you want me to gather. Gather what? What are you gathering? Okay. Yeah? And that's how many of us procrastinate. I never do it. Or we analyze till we are paralyzed. Or we are waiting for convenient time that does not exist. So you are hungry about making money? Sure. I've learned they said tomorrow they will take me to the side. We are going. We move. That's how to become successful. Speed. Speed and excellence is the secret of greatness. Speed and excellence. The two together. Doing things excellently well with speed is how to beat it. Right? One of the powerful things we use to shock our industry, we sell 247 customer service. Because we realize a lot of our clients are in the US and Australia. Right? The time they are waking up or ready to talk to you, everybody's gone to bed. So we had nice shift. So it is in, there is still one of the biggest exciting things for our customers. Someone say, so I need to pay me one day. You know, 12 a.m. Say so 1 30 a.m. Somebody called me. So we saw your payments. I was like, hey, did I? So these guys. 1 30 a.m. Speed with excellence. That's how you go far. I will learn. Aha. Number three is here. Thank you very much for the impartation and the answer. My question is in your environment, in the environment where someone is that they can't afford, could other, aside social media, begin a relationship to people, with people who can afford? Houses, Thanks. Aside social media, how do you build relationships yes, with people? People who can afford. I think at the beginning you need to yes. use social media. I won't lie to you because, particularly for you, if you are older, for those who are already in their forties and fifties, yes, they can do that. You know why? There is no way, even if they swear for you, <laughs> some of your mates will have been rich when you are in your forties and fifties. There is no way. But if you're in your 20s and your 30s, <laughs> in this current Nigeria, many of your mates are still looking for a job. So thinking you can easily just, and the easiest way is using that mate thing, that I went to school. Oh, you know. Another thing is church. But even that, sometimes it's a retired, except you are really, you know, I mean, there's levels in this thing, even in church. That there are some people who just give you attention, not even because they hate you. There are other members who just come, everybody, once they know one member is rich, everybody is on his neck. So it may not even be a good option. So, best thing is usually, and I tell people this if you really start a new business like real estate, it's never wise to start with your family members or your loved ones. They are the first to discourage you. Don't even waste your time there. And they will remind you of all the other things you've done that failed. <laughs> And now this is another one you don't carry. Right? So, sometimes it's when you now have results that they are going to come along the way. So start with, am I making sense to talk? Start with those who don't know you, using social media. Remember the good news that it's not your company. It's not you that have to do so. You are not having to put too much of your credibility on the line. You just need to know how to talk to them in a polite way. Just don't need to know how to manage them well and impose confidence. Just need to go on social media and do digital photo picture where you are putting on suit. If you have to borrow it, not this one, you are dressed informal. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do photo shoot and that should be your DP. Don't you like this guy? Badass. Look at the screen now. You don't like the guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stop playing. He means business. Are we together now? Yes. So, like I said, if you have to borrow the suit, just like that. You notice I don't, I'm not always in suit, but all my photo shoots are corporate. Hmm? You give a good portrait now, impression. Right? So when they go on your social media and they see one or two things and don't do any, some of you now, there's nothing there. The only thing you can see in your profile is that I went to Rimo Bujek primary school and secondary school. Even to put, I am a property consultant with GTEx phones, you didn't put. Now you say you sell property. Because some of them will research you. So what's your name again? Did I hear on Facebook say, yeah, okay, I'll get back to you. We'll go and check. Nothing on that page shows real estate. Yet you say it should be 20 million. You see the point now. Some on the street is the part, last party they went, Odin, uh, NSC. Yeah. So, uh, all my money, use it to drink NSC. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I will learn in our talks. Yes, because I have a formula I teach PV plus AV equals to CCF. Passive value plus actual value equals to consistent cash flow. So you may have the actual value. If you don't have the perceived value, you are not going to make money. Only world. Next. We are all blessed. Yes, do we have to be a graduate in and in real estate management to participate in this? Good Especially for those of us that are excited to move forward and become a master in this field. And uh, why I say this is that one day one of my lawyers uh, came to our area and joined some ag uh, agents in our area to have a meeting. At the end of it, uh, they told her that you are not supposed to be one of us because uh, you, you are not uh, a graduate in estate management, something. So all those things made me to feel that, assuming that you, uh, your career, like me, my f uh, first decision was on MassCom, the second one was public administration. Now I'm entering estate management. Okay. Very good question. No problem. Thank you for that question. The answer is capital, no. My first degree is in, is in microbiology. My second degree is in digital marketing. Right? Of course, I'm, I'm currently even doing some real estate courses and all that, but I don't have a degree in real estate. So let nobody deceive you. You don't need, you don't need to be a graduate to be a property salesperson. Anybody can sell property anywhere in the world. What you need is the informal training from uh, organizations like the one of GTEx, being able to be part or paying for a training. I'm currently doing a, a course with Harvard, it's $12,000 on real estate. But it's not a degree, right? So there's nothing wrong with keep learning. But I've become a billionaire before I even did that. Because, okay, if you are not, how will you be able to raise such money? Right? So, remember, most of us in real estate are not even, we didn't even study estate or anything. Right? So, we learned it. We were apprentices under those who were doing. We, met, we, we sold for them. We put our reputation on the line. And while we were doing, we were learning from those who were selling for. That's not to do, but we don't need any degree. Have you gotten value today, everybody? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are we sure? Yes, yes sir. sir. I need your energy. Are you excited? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are you ready to make money? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you ready to make money? Yes, yes sir. sir. Beautiful. So, um, this is our UK train. We're sending some of you to uh, Dubai in September. Can we share that? That's uh, that do we still have some of those who went to Maldives? Yes. Let them come. We have some people just 
arrived, I think, two weeks ago from Maldives. We took 22 people, all expense paid. We we'll give 10% on direct sales, uh, 2% direct, but we still give incentives. So in September 15th, we are taking uh, some people to Dubai, all expense paid trip. And um, we're taking some people in October to London, and then in October also to Maldives, also the US, if you already have visa. So the rule is just, if you, have, if you can sell 10 housing units, where they are taking it to tomorrow, right? Where they are taking it to tomorrow, just sell 10 units. They don't, it's not attractive, it's just deposit 5 million. Once they deposit, if you have 10 people deposit 5 million for their house, you qualify to go to Dubai. If you have 15 people who deposit for their house, you qualify to go to what? To London. For London, we are willing to assist you with your visa. For US, no, because yeah, you can't even get an appointment anytime soon. Uh, for Maldives, yes, all expenses, you cover visa, everything. For Dubai, to you can't do visa. So Maldives too, if you do ten, you qualify for Maldives. All expenses be true. And then by December, we're even doing something more exciting. In December, we if you have if you have hit 30 units that you sold, you get a product uh, um a total corolla. And if you have got 40 people who deposited five million for their house, you get a product G. Not to go out loud. This is aside your normal 10% commission on land and 5% commission in house. So let's hear from those who just returned. They are Maldivians. So Maldi, Maldivians. Yeah. Maldivians. <laughs> so give them the mic. So how did it go? Let's go early. Let's go early. Let's go early. Yeah. Yeah. Before you finish. Oh, before I finish. Uh, okay. So uh, some people haven't heard them. Let's make you wait to the next class. <laughs> So we had about 25 of them who, who, who had a wonderful time and we always lodge them in five tower hotels. So it's this kind of quality hotels we lodge. So it's a lifetime experience and trust me, I need you with me. It's poverty. How many of you have noticed that? Yeah, you know, I don't know how many of you noticed that your character changed when you're in a certain environment. Absolutely. Even some of you are acting like you are innocent. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you just just enter the body bag. Show it that way. No, no, no. But but you yeah, enter Marriott. Even the ambiance condition you to to be rich to act. Like somebody whose brain is correct. <laughs> <laughs> How it together now? So poverty is a disease, oh. yes. right? It causes you to misbehave. But when there is wealth, eh, you will be calm, cool, relaxed. You just develop manners. Have you noticed? You people who don't have manners develop manners in such an environment. Just become courteous. We must do Dubai together. September, who is joining me? Aha. Eh? Uh -huh. But remember, it starts with what? Tomorrow. Go for inspection. Do your video. Don't be so? Yes. Sir. Post all those videos on social media. Do paid advert. If you have to borrow 20k, 50k, do the advert. Like I told you, go on our YouTube channel, JTEX Songs, subscribe or Snacker TV, and you watch the video on how to do those adverts. And you're on your way to the top. I love you all and thank you for coming. God bless you. <laughs> Lastly, uh, I have a book that I just ordered called The Billionaire Habits. Like I said, you're doing yourself a favor if you have not gotten one. By the way, those of you who have gotten, I'd like to sign, sign it for you and take a picture with you. You are doing yourself a big disservice if you don't have this book. Right? I added all that has that I learned that helped me to become a billionaire and put it in this book. We have the audio version, the video version, 20,000 
All of these I keep telling people, you can't place a price to somebody's knowledge. We also have the e-book, but I think the e-book is almost 10,000 or something. Huh? Yeah. Ten seven dollars. E-book, e-book. Twenty-seven dollars is not twenty-seven thousand. Ten thousand for the e-book, right? That and then this physical copy is twenty thousand. Um, but one of the things that is, and I've gotten testimony from all over the world about this book, all over the world. It's Amazon bestseller, but most of the people buying this are not even Africans. They're like shocked, like this is loaded information. It's loaded, right? And it's practical. This is how I got here. I started this business with 1,000 naira 13 years ago. We built a multi billion naira empire with office in, I mean, different cities in Nigeria, in Dubai, the US, and UK. We have foreigners working with us and they are paid in their own currency. So you want to learn. The secret of men is in their what? Stories. Their stories. Right? And very easy to read. So if you like to read, you want to get you can get the audio version if you don't have time to read or the video version. But it will change your life. I guarantee that. Right? It will change your life. And I beg you get it. It's just for um, your own good. And you share testimony. By the way, please, when you get it, read it. If you won't read it, don't buy it. Right? I don't need your 20,000. If you won't read it, don't buy it. Right? Buy it if you know you will read it. And read it. Go through it. Won't cost you anything to take the time. If I will decide to be reading chapter by chapter. Or go through it. Habit determines what? Decisions. And your decisions determine your what? Your destiny. Can I say it again? Your habits determine your what? Your decisions. Your decisions. And your decisions determine your what? Your destiny. Your destiny. But it's about your habits. And here you'll be learning habits. Habits that billionaires used to become what? And as you start doing it, it's a matter of time you get to their level. I love you all and God bless you. So five PM we have the last session. Anybody getting the book, let me see them. And they are new, I want to take it to the book. I want to sign it to the book.